With the Memorial Day weekend here, people are going to be soaking up the sun, many having no idea which sunscreens offer the best protection. More than a million cases of skin cancer are diagnosed each year in this country, and the federal government promised a crackdown on unproven sunscreen claims two years ago. So did the government make good on that promise? Here's John McKenzie. Sunscreens, what a mess. No, not the lotion on the body, the labeling on the bottle. It is more than a mess, it's deceiving, it's fraudulent, uh, and it's leaving people to operate under the false impression their children are protected and they're protected against skin cancers. They're not. Not if they're relying on claims such as waterproof or sweatproof or broad spectrum. These claims are basically meaningless and there are no set standards. The Food and Drug Administration promised to give consumers clear guidance with new labeling standards. The government today proposed new rules concerning sunscreen that would... That was almost two years ago, and nothing has changed. Before actually enacting the new regulations, the FDA is still reviewing them, still reviewing comments from the public and the makers of sunscreens. When you have 3,000 comments, agree that not all of them uh, included substantial data, but it does require some time to look through these and consider them carefully. From the public protection point of view, this is really not acceptable. This is not that complex a problem. With new regulations, you would not see new sunscreens with a sun protection factor of 85 or 100. The cap would be listed simply as 50 plus, which is all most people really need. There was also supposed to be a simple four-star rating system to measure protection against the deeper penetrating UVA rays. But that too is on hold. ABC News has learned that the FDA, under pressure from sunscreen makers and others, is making substantial changes to the proposed regulations and now plans to unveil a new set of labeling rules later this year. In the meantime, millions of unsuspecting sunscreen users may get burned waiting. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York.